Hello everybody. I'm out here in my backyard garden. So this is my um, shampoo ginger. And <clears throat> I noticed this year I didn't get the cone yet. Um, it, but it's multiplying. So hopefully next year I will get the shampoo. I will get the cones that come with this. And they call it shampoo ginger because it squeezed this silky liquid out and it's really good to wash your hair with and it smells divine um i had it before i moved here um but transplanted i didn't get it um last year i didn't get it this year so hopefully i get it next year can't wait ball it up and have to um wash my hair with this is my shampoo ginger so here's my star fruit tree y'all with the star fruits on it um, also I notice here look at this it wants to put on more see that But I did cut it back, back here at the bottom, right here, these two, and I put it in the ground to sprout some more, get some more flowers. So the second run of fruits, it put on a lot more, and I'm excited to see how many I will really get off this plant. Because it actually drop some of the fruits if you don't need it. Okay, here's my other ginger. Um, this was given to me. I don't know quite if this is edible or not. Maybe somebody could tell me. But these are the gorgeous uh, the gorgeous flowers that it put on. See that? Beautiful flowers. But I do know the ginger I'm growing over here are edible right here and I will harvest a little small piece to do some in my jams my plums give that little extra kick so you know I kind of do a little research on my turmeric so when it's starting turning this color I can go on here and start harvesting some um, let's see together how big is this turmeric is down here? Definitely gotta be careful. I got um blackberry vines see, growing over here. But it's actually shooting up another sprout. Uh, excuse me, I got a little cold. And it's down up in here. Ooh. I feel it. Let's see. Come on, hands. I think I probably broke it off. So it's it have not really put out turmeric. It just I guess next year it'll do a lot better. Um, it is a little cutting from um, a plant I just stuck in here and just see what's gonna happen. So I can't wait till this multiply and get bigger. But I do have one over here that's pretty big, and I know it'd be ready to harvest just before it get cold. And I want to um, take it in and dry it out and make some turmeric powder to cook with. This one right here, it's definitely gonna be ready. Look how big this one is. Look at that, you can see it. <laughs> and it's putting out another sprout. So this is going to be a pretty nice size turmeric. So I only get, I only have one, two loaf loofers. So I just went on a dry to use that sponge to base with. It's cool. So that's all I want to talk to you all about. A couple of my gingers. 
um, ready to harvest some. I want to divide them and actually get more um, ginger and turmeric. And definitely want to divide the shampoo ginger, but I think I'm going to put those in pots because it can get a little evasive. The gingers can. Like this one with just one one little ginger and it just multiplied really fast. My dirt's are really hard. Let's see, so I can't even get this up. Let's see. Yeah, wait a minute. It's down in there. So I just want to show y'all what this ginger look like. So there's definitely a different um, ginger compared to the one I have over there. So this is different. I am going to put this in a pot. Maybe somebody, like I said, could tell me what variety of ginger is, is edible or not. And if I didn't want any, they more than happy to have a couple of pieces of this. Let me put this back in the ground. Ooh, itchy. I'm going to also dig up my ground apple that's these right here and do some cuttings from this because these are from cuttings and like I cut a piece off here and here and they stick in the ground actually it grows back from me really well no problem whatsoever now I have to do one more thing it actually find where my sweet potatoes are at here because I think I just throw it in the ground to let it decompose and then realize it actually shot out sweet potato vines. I have no idea what this vine is. So I'll be looking for that. The sun is going down and it's feeling nice. So in the next clip or two, I will be showing you all my lights I'm gonna put up in here and the lights I'm gonna drape back here for outdoor parties when it's starting to get a little cool can sit out here and actually don't get ate up by the mosquitoes and uh and just enjoy the scenery before everything die back and be no greenery just sticks when it get cold and start transplanting my cabbages and kills and carrots all the brassica family out here. All said and done, I'll pass Smith from my yard to yours. <laughs>